Hello, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. In today's video, yes, as the title would suggest, we are going to talk about James Yeager going to Ukraine to fight in the Ukrainian Legion. I've only done one video on the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, essentially saying that I don't believe that we have enough information laced in between the lies and propaganda to make an educated decision on who the good guy or the bad guy is in Russia or Ukraine, or even to know who the true enemy is. Um, I believe it's Ephesians 6.22 I don't, we don't believe in the wars between nations and kingdoms. This is a spiritual fight. It's good versus evil. Ultimately, what I see happening in Ukraine and Russia right now is the world getting ready for World War III to kill moral, principled men. Men, I feel like James Yeager. We are being set up for the next era. However, because of this, a lot of you uh, would think that I would condemn James Yeager or say that what he is doing is stupid. And I will not. I don't agree with his decision. I would like for him to stay here. We've got plenty of commies within our own borders. Many of them flying the Vetbro flag. However, what is really important and why I like James Yeager and came to respect him is he's putting his money where his mouth is. All these vet boys and internet hard asses might post a little pro-Ukraine post, this, that, or the other thing, or even pro-Russian for that matter. But at the end of the day, that's as far as it'll ever go. Maybe Tim Kennedy will go to Ukraine to do a uh, paid advertisement for 511. I don't know, but it won't go any further than that. James Yeager believes it's the right thing to do to go to Ukraine and to help in any way that he can, so he will. This isn't the first time that he's put his money where his mouth is, and nobody else in a situation even remotely close to his is. And I want all of the people that sit around and talk crap about James to think about that. I guarantee you, right now, when James dies and real patriots and real good people, real well-intentioned people look back at him, the people who hate him today for whatever reason they have, when they look back objectively at the things that he did, They'll be like, man, I wish I would have realized this before he was gone. Uh, so, Godspeed to James. My hopes and prayers are not that he lives or dies or, uh, you know, goes down in a pile of brass like so many people want. What my hope and prayer is is that he is uh, used to the greater good, to the fullest, that he fulfills everything within his capabilities, and that he brings a light of truth to us in this conflict that we can't get elsewhere. I trust James to tell the truth about what fighting is actually going on there and what he actually sees, and we can't get that right now from anywhere else. Everything that we see, there's so many lies and manipulations going on right now in this conflict that Jaeger might be what it takes for us to get a glimpse of what's actually going on. And if he goes over there and he's like, hey, nothing that they're saying is happening is happening. Like, there's, there's no fighting here. Like, people are in restaurants and chilling. Nothing's really going on. Uh, that'll give us something to think about. And I would dare say that if him telling the truth directly contradicts the narrative, that that is when James Yeager will meet his end. Not doing something good for Ukraine or Russia, 
but uh, getting suicided by Hitler -y or something of the sort. Uh, best of luck to him. I would encourage you to consider supporting him. And I've been talking about training for a long time, guys. If you're a civilian who has no first-hand experience in combat and no professional private training, if you are a soldier who has no professional private training, go to Tactical Response and take some classes. Take ownership for yourself and become ungovernable. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you in the comment section below.